Hey, my name is Matt Storr, and I repair saxophones for a living. You may have heard about the old-timers trick of taking something like your neck plug or cork grease or champagne cork and dropping it down the bell so that it rests down here in the bow uh, to alleviate burbling uh, in your low notes, specifically around low C. Um, this actually has a basis in acoustic truth. Some saxophones have too much volume inside the bow. Specifically, uh, Selmer was experimenting with this quite a bit um, throughout the Mark VI run. Um, and reducing the volume inside the bore around here can help alleviate burbling. Uh, sometimes, depending on your mouthpiece combination, this may be an issue, it may not be for you. Um, a lot of times, a volume mismatch in the mouthpiece, uh, if it's got too much volume inside the mouthpiece or too little volume uh, can make that happen. But interestingly, late Mark VI Altos that were American assembled uh, have a large patch soldered inside the bow, right around the C-tone hole, wrapping around the inside. Um, that is a rather permanent way to address that extra volume issue. Um, so this is a 225,000 serial number. I've seen them from around 180,000 on upwards to the end of the Mark VI run. And this is American assembled sixes only, and this is original. You can see those huge globs of solder there. Uh, there's no way you could solder something that large uh, inside the bow without uh, burning lacquer. So you'll see this, and the lacquer won't be burned, which means it's original. And I've heard from several reliable sources that this is, in fact, something they did do at the factory, and it was specifically to alleviate that low note burbling. See if I can get you a view through the C tone hole. There you go. You can see it from the C tone hole. You can see how it wraps all the way around the end there. Now, interestingly, um, these saxes, the late Mark VI altos with the patch inside the bow, also happen to be what I think are some of the best playing Mark VI altos, which is good for you and me because uh, late Mark VI, late Mark VI's of any type are cheaper than the earlier ones. But the late six altos with the patch in the bow, that'll be American assembled, um, somewhere around 180,000 on upwards, and you can see it from any of these tone holes when you look inside, uh, are in my opinion, excellent, excellent players. Uh, they're very well in tune, they've got a very uh, warm, huge, powerful voice, um, and they're a lot of fun to play. So this is a horn that I am uh, doing an overhaul on right now. And I wanted to show you this. Uh, this is something I see quite often on these horns, um, and I've noticed over time that these end up being usually uh, some of my favorites. So I thought I'd share with you to keep an eye out for late Mark VI altos, uh, American assembled with the original, go on focus, patch in the bow. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. I hope you found this helpful, interesting, useful, informative. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to get in touch. Thanks so much for watching.